Monitoring the amount of oxygen in a vehicle's exhaust system is one way of gauging whether the correct air-fuel ratio is being used in the combustion chamber. One of the components that does this is the oxygen sensor. The oxygen sensor detects the level of oxygen in the exhaust gases to determine if the air-fuel mixture is rich, which means there's too much fuel, or lean, which means there isn't enough fuel being fed to the engine. This information is sent to the engine control unit, or ECU, which can make adjustments to the air-fuel mix as needed. 101 level stuff, right? Well, what some of your customers might not know is that some vehicles come with a different sensor that serves the same purpose. We're talking about the air-fuel sensor, or AF sensor. Like the more well-known oxygen sensor, the AF sensor helps create an optimal air-fuel mix by monitoring the level of oxygen in the vehicle's exhaust gases. The AF sensor even looks similar to the O2 sensor, but the similarities end there. An ordinary O2 sensor reads unburned oxygen in the exhaust and generates either a high or low voltage signal. The signal is high when the air-fuel mixture is rich or low when the air-fuel mixture is lean. An oxygen sensor can determine if the fuel is rich or lean, but not by how much. You might think of the air-fuel sensor as a smarter version of an oxygen sensor. The AF sensor generates a current signal that changes in direct proportion to the air-fuel ratio. So, it can measure the exact air-fuel ratio and how far it is from the ideal mix. With this precise information, the ECU can make exact corrections to the injected fuel quantity and reach the target air-fuel mix almost immediately. One way to think about the differences in how oxygen sensors and air-fuel sensors operate is the light bulb analogy. Using this analogy, Denso explains that the oxygen sensor sends voltage to the ECU and acts like an on-off switch, turning the bulb on and off. The air-fuel sensor receives voltage from the ECU and acts like a dimmer switch, making the light bulb brighten and dim. So how can your customers tell if their vehicle has an oxygen sensor or an air-fuel sensor? One way to tell is to look at the Vehicle Emission Control Information Label. Since the 1979 model year, a vehicle emissions label has been required on all passenger cars and light trucks. Located under the hood or in the engine compartment, this label contains the vehicle manufacturer's name and trademark and a statement of compliance with EPA emissions regulations. It also indicates whether the vehicle uses an AF sensor or an O2 sensor. If you only take away one thing from this video, just know that even though they look similar, oxygen sensors and air fuel sensors are not interchangeable. Because AF sensors are more expensive, it might be tempting to install a replacement oxygen sensor in a vehicle that came from the factory with an AF sensor. That's a surefire recipe for a customer comeback. Finally, when you're recommending a replacement O2 sensor or AF sensor, be sure to recommend a high quality component from a leading manufacturer such as Denso. The superior design of Denso's oxygen sensors and air fuel sensors maximizes engine performance and fuel efficiency while reducing fuel consumption and harmful emissions. Thanks for watching.